Let us rejoice and exult for joy. For the Lord of all has shown his love for a holy and glorious virgin. Good morning. Good morning. To special attention on today's Mass is for Marie Louise Turo Roche. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Today the church celebrates the memory of St. Margaret Mary Alacoc, who was a visitation sister and a virgin from uh, France who had revelations about the most sacred heart of Jesus. So today we remember that powerful uh, devotion in our church. And we give thanks to God for using St. Margaret Mary as the instrument to bring the message of his mercy and love more deeply into our world. Let's now call, uh, pause to call to mind any sins that we have committed so we might be holy before God for this liturgy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption in God's possession. To the praise of his glory, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For the upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven, that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast and take a henna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. So we hear the conclusion of Jesus' critique of the Pharisees for being hypocrites. He has used the word hypocrite or hypocrisy several times in his gospel teachings this week. And the word hypocrite comes from the Greek word meaning actor. In, uh, in ancient Greece, all the actors wore masks. So uh, an actor, a hypocrite, was one who wore a mask and took on a different identity to be not the person they were, but somebody completely different. And so hypocrisy means when we're putting on, a, figuratively, a mask, so that we look different on the outside than we actually are on the inside. So for example, uh, if we are engaged in prayer, and fasting, and good works, and the spiritual life, to really grow closer to God, and to develop our interior life, and to grow in virtue, then we're not being hypocritical. But if we're doing those things so that we can look good to God and look good to other people and look like we are holy, then we're hypocrites and Jesus criticizes us. If we uh, act like we have everything together, oh, I have no weaknesses, no struggles, everything is great in my life, well, that's not true for anybody. And so that would be another example of hypocrisy, trying to look different and better on the outside than what's really going on in between our ears, in our mind, and in our hearts. And so that's what Jesus criticizes with the Pharisees. They were experts at following the external Jewish religious laws. They tithed properly, they cleansed everything they were supposed to cleanse, they followed the eating and dietary rules, but they were mean to people. They were uncharitable to people, terribly judgmental, and uh, just not at all selfless. It was all about improving their status and stature in the community. And so they were hypocrites wearing the mask to try to look better on the outside than what was on the inside. And so that's what Jesus asks us to do. Take off our masks. Stop trying to appear differently than we are. Be open, be honest. God knows, God knows what's going on inside anyway. So be open and be honest. And, and, and by doing that, we can allow God to truly work in our lives so that we will have an interior conversion and a disposition that allows us to be his faithful and holy people and holy servants in this world. Let's bring our prayers and needs to our Heavenly Father. For members of the Church throughout the world, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit sanctify each one of us in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations and all those in authority, may God grant them fortitude in governing wisely with justice and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who are afraid, may God give them peace and the knowledge of his love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent deafening of our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's continue to pray for healing for those who have been damaged by hurricanes, for healing for those victims of clergy sexual abuse and misconduct, and for healing in our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, our morning prayers. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness, Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Guide researchers to develop a vaccine. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus, for you are our loving and healing Lord, our Lady of Palm Succor, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Rock, and St. Rosalie. Pray for us. Amen. Loving and faithful God, through the years, the people of our archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of our Lady of Palm Succor in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Prompts our Lord, peace and to help us. Mother Henrietta Leo, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, blessed Margaret Mary, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, you celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you called human nature back to its original holiness and 
bring into experience on this earth the gifts she promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Margaret Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion and the body. The five wise virgins drunk spices of oil with their lamps. Then at midnight the cry went out, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, that by the example of Blessed Margaret Mary Alcock, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, we have the rosary at 9 o'clock with uh, several of our school classes. So we'll keep all the lights on and the doors unlocked today. Uh, the Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great weekend. Thank you. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the Lord of souls. Amen.